Before continuing. In this video, we will guide you step by step on how to make a fly cutter. You can download the 3D model of the fly cutter in this video from the link in the description. Fly cutters are sometimes a life-saving tool that gives you huge opportunities to finish jobs. This video will be a tutorial that includes step-by-step -step explanations and stress analysis of the fly cutter at varied spindle speeds. As you can imagine, this eccentric produced very high centrifugal forces at high speeds. So we put it through an analysis tool, which will give us all the critical stress values of our fly cutter bits. Let's talk about which fly cutter should you use? All fly cutters has some common characteristics like adjustability, cutting blade properties like indexable or fixed one. Our one is an adjustable fly cutter, also indexable cutting tips can be attached to it. Let's check the structure of a fly cutter. A basic fly cutter is consist of a couple of parts. Part 1. Holder. Part 2. Fly cutter body. Part 3. Cutting blade. Part 4. Fasteners. Let's see stress analysis of a fly cutter. We are sharing our structural analysis so you can see how the fly cutter body responds to high RPM. Our idea was, to make a stress test to be sure the whole design concept was safe. We are going to provide some snapshots of real-time stress calculations, which will prove the importance of spindle speed while using fly cutters. As you can see in the above figure, how stress increases proportionally with spindle speed. When we spin faster the fly cutter produces more centrifugal forces. These forces directly will be transformed to the tool holder, spindle bearings, spindle housing and to chase off the milling machine. There are no red segments on the analysis result, that is means we are good to go with these materials, dimensions. These tests are done under 1000 RPM and 1500 RPM. 1500 RPM is not a realistic usage scenario for fly cutters so we recommend do not go more than 1000 RPM, always start with 500 RPM and increase gradually if is everything okay. Let's talk about how to make fly cutter. After clarifying centrifugal stress distribution concerns we are now ready to manufacture your first adjustable fly cutter. We are sure now it is safe also very functional. The figure below shows the inner view of the fly cutter. The cutting diameter is adjustable. You just need to undo the bolt and move the blade holder to the diameter you want. If you have a CNC machine you can directly download our 3D Parasolid file to make CNC programs with your CAM system. Also, there will be 2D mechanical blueprints for those who prefer to machine manually in a milling machine and center lathe. These files are very explanatory, so you will be able to fully understand the project plans. Please follow these steps to manufacture fly cutter. Step 1. Grind the fly cutter blade. Machine the parts according to mechanical plans. You need to grind the cutting blade properly. Keep the end radius of the blade bigger for harder materials, in contrast, you need to give very less end radius for softer materials. You need to check grinding angles and dimensions from 3D model. Step 2. Assemble the machine parts according to blueprints provided. Use fasteners to assemble the parts. Step 3. Put it to the your milling machine or CNC machine. You should use a 22mm diameter collet with a BT40 tool holder. For conventional milling machines use a suitable holder for 22mm diameter collet. Optionally you can re-machine 22mm diameter shoulder to 20mm for holding 20mm collet. Step 4. Adjust the diameter of the fly cutter. You can adjust the diameter between 90mm facing. Fly cutter going to be naturally balanced due to its geometry. If you want to be bigger then you must start with very little spindle speed to avoid the danger of an unbalanced fly cutter. If you want more content like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on our channel.